Well, and speaking of, of one of the big moments, the first playoff game. Um, I guess, oh. I guess, I guess, making the playoffs. Like you know, this is a whole topic, but let's get into that first game. We've heard from like Davion and Kevin talking about how like they got chills coming out of that tunnel and like what that felt like. I know just from Dude, born and raised in Sacramento. Twenty five minutes before the game and like the everyone standing and, and it was we're yes. feeling a certain thing. So what the hell were you feeling? Yeah, so because our game got pushed back because of whatever game that was going on before. So like mm-hmm. everybody, like the game probably should have been started. So everybody's already in their seats, and we come out and like I almost shed a tear. I'm like this was because every you see all white, the ovation that everybody loud it was it was nuts. Like. I don't know how many people have run out of the tunnel besides um, who just did this, Nebraska, Nebraska's volleyball yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Like you oh, come yeah. out and everybody's already in their seats. Oh, it was, it was like a surreal moment coming out for the, for that first playoff, my first playoff game in 16 years. Like it was, coming out of the tunnel was just, it was amazing. I, I was gonna say, I mean, you were obviously there. What? What? Sorry. It was incredible. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't add like. It's unexplainable, really. Yeah, wow. Was... People don't understand how... I was just happy for the fans. Let's just leave it at that. Because mm. yeah. you had been through so much, right? Totally. And people don't understand. I hate the Sacramento has no fans. I don't mm. I don't know where that ever came from. I mean, even, even when we, we were losing, sucked, yeah. We, yeah. There were times we, had we were there. still... The stands, right? Like, you never left us. And just, like, it invigorated the city. Yeah. yeah. It totally like, did. downtown, we had beam billboards. Yeah. Everything. And, I mean, we've just driven by, and it's like you see the beam here, a beam there. Jerseys. You see a picture of the team. It's the beam was like, the best idea. Like it's crazy that like a simple thing like a laser in the sky would like bring people together. I also thought about like if it had been during a year, they like hey they unveiled it when you win like twenty five games. It, no one nah, is into it. I don't it, think it would have hit the same. No, nope. but so different. since it came at the beginning yes. of the year, it's like okay, y'all have to be good now. Like y'all yeah. better be good, or this is gonna be. <laughs> I mean, we would we would lose a game, and the other teams like, oh, some some something, the beam. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, when Trey did the caption with the beam, I wanted, I wanted, <laughs> to, I wanted to text him like, really, <laughs> why? Well, how great is that though? That like the more haters, like the more team social medias were like like trolling you about guys after beam. a loss about the beam or something. Yeah. It's like great. We That's cool. This is a thing. We're this on their radar. Now. Like we. The, the respect is almost there. Like, they're scared. Oh, they're they're making jokes about the beam? Okay. Right. Get ready to die on a Tuesday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that so, was great. Wait, wait, how long did it take you to get, get over the, the series against the Warriors? Mm. Like, um, He didn't watch the... He didn't watch yeah, the, I didn't watch the... Oh, yeah. I watched some of the, um, some of the Boston uh, Miami series. Yeah. And I watched some of the finals. But other than that, I think I saw one, of, one game of Golden State... Um, LA and it's only because we were eating we were in San Antonio actually and we were eating and they had the game on and I was already facing that direction damn so, so like I was like naturally he hit he it. hit him with one of the seats. like I don't want to so, so it hurt <laughs> it, it was <laughs> turn this back towards it like, I don't want to watch this so it was obviously something that you were like it just was bugging you still yeah I mean same thing honestly happened when we uh, in college whenever we lost I didn't yeah. watch the final four or the championship mm. the only thing I actually missed I mean the only thing I actually saw was like the missed Carolina played Oregon. Mm. That's like the only thing I saw. Um, but yeah, I mean, I felt like we had a chance. Obviously, I think Steph did what's what's Jesus. great to do that in was Game ridiculous. Seven. I, um, How? But yeah, I mean, it, it definitely hurt. But I'm like, okay, this is our first time. Um, we lost the team that just won the championship. It's okay. I just still didn't want to watch. The rest yeah, of yeah. Shit. But um, I mean, it made me like feel good. It made me feel good that we were able to get to the, to this position when. Nobody thought we'd, people thought we'd be a play, a play in team. And Me, people sorry. Cry about, people <laughs> cried up about us being healthy where yeah. guys are playing through injuries. So I'm like, I mean, we you, had a good season. We didn't talk about that. You you were hurt in the playoffs too. I, you yeah, got hurt in the broke, playoffs. Yeah, I uh. broke my finger. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, we did everything we could. Um, but we can build off of this. this. We don't want this to be a one off. We want to continue to build off of this. So uh, I was. I was hurt for a little bit, but like after a week, I'm like, okay, let's enjoy our off season. Let's Good. get my finger better. Let's yeah. let's get um let's get better during this off season and let me enjoy my family and we'll be back here at we'll be back here next year. So I wasn't I wasn't it wasn't too bad. 